Hello, everyone. And this is Winter Data Meetup. And our next speaker is Alina. And she will cover a very interesting topic that I haven't heard before. So it's software development services. Yeah. So please, Alina, floor is yours. Hi. Hello, everyone. My name is Alina, and I'm a data engineer. And I did my uh, journey through on-premises uh, solutions to uh, cloud solutions and it's not only changed in the way how it worked before like I'm I mean uh, when you think about a physical uh, resources you have and licensing uh, to the model where you think about uh, software as a service so and a part of this uh, shift between uh, capex and opex is um, cloud development tools, which I want to introduce here today. Um, so as you know, modern uh, applications are a type of a mix of different languages, different uh, computing resources and different services. So it's really hard to understand how they work. And uh, that's why the main challenge in software development process are projects that have time and it consistency. Due to this complexity, it's hard to onboard new people. And yes, yeah, cybersecurity is a must as well. And yeah, I'm gonna walk you through some features and benefits of cloud development environments. Um, our day-to-day -day job is uh, when we do our day-to-day -day job. First, we think about the clients' needs, help them to accelerate value uh, from data, um, and uh, that's why uh, time is always matter for us. And it, the longer it takes to uh, bring the data by developing pipelines, product applications, and deploy them to production the longer it takes to see the value of our job. So I've examined two different uh, cloud development environments, uh, GitHub uh, code space, and when you just launched uh, AWS code catalyst. And in between these two tools, there are not many difference. They both uh, have uh, blueprints. so templates for different projects, a uh, bunch of EDs. You can use um, connection, direct connection to GitHub and uh, the ability to collaborate with the teams. So I decided not to, um, not to, uh, sir, not to explore the difference between the, the tools rather to uh, walk you through difference between uh, cloud and local development tools. So, and first, uh, how the project usually start is with uh, setting up of a uh, setup of development environment. And first, when you work locally, first you install run needed runtimes, uh, install editors, then configure them, configure Git connection here. When you have an account in the environment, you just can click the button, create a space, and uh, it will show you options you can choose and create it in a couple of clicks. Um, yeah, so the next thing after you set up environment is set up new project. And once again, you need to download the code from source repository, uh, ensure that all dependencies are stable and work fine. So here you don't need to do this manipulations. You just can click, again, button, and just uh, create build a project through existing repository or with a template. And evaluation of, of the project, uh, the develop, develop, develop of new feature, um, as locally you always pull latest, uh, latest, latest version, then create your own branch, ensure uh, that everything set up 
for this particular um, for this particular task, everything is set it up, and then you start your work in uh, cloud uh, development environments. You just can click on ED you like, and uh, it will open a new tab. Um, yeah, it's all about the process. The last but not least, the security. So we should keep not only data secure, but the code as well. And these tools, they are built with the security in mind. And the good thing uh, for us, and especially for administrators, uh, that a vendor maintain encryption, environment isolation in compliance with uh, data regulators uh, like GDPR. Um, uh, in this code spaces uh, support different roles, administrator role when you, where you can um, invite uh, new uh, administrators, uh, other team members, and uh, um, del delete or create projects. The contributors. Um, in other words, developers who can contribute into the project and uh, mem project members who are just um, uh, viewers who can see what the list of project uh, projects and the list of users. Yeah. And to sum up, uh, modern development environment help to accelerate the setup time uh, it takes to create uh, development product development products and applications um, uh, it helps not only start easily but to evolve the project easily and makes it easy to manage the, the developer desktops work remotely and collaborate um, and if you are interested, you can use this link to get more about uh, environments, cloud environments. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Alina. Very interesting topic. Yeah, and these like services that I actually haven't uh, tried. Uh, yeah, but I have we have a few questions. So you mentioned that it's like a real IDE. Uh, that, for example, idea or Eclipse that on my machine, yeah. So, and what programming languages actually support it? Like, uh, do you know maybe there are some limitations or some? Uh, yeah, can I use Java, and Python, and I don't know JavaScript there? Uh, yeah, sure. Because uh, it's uh, just ed editors. You can uh, choose any any language you want. Uh, I've seen templates for Node.js, for example, but uh, it's uh, it, it because um, it, its interpreter it can interpret varieties of different languages, yeah. Yeah, and also you mentioned uh, collaboration. So what do you mean by it? Uh, so it, it means that you can work in real time with another developer. Uh, it shared space and you can both uh, like work on it in parallel and it actually helps when you were stuck on on the issue and you call your colleague and you work at exact same thing and you don't need to share a screen in teams because sometimes there, there are no options to give a control here it's more easily and offensive effect offensive yeah oh that's interesting so so is it just uh so it looks like it isn't just a common Git branch that is shared among, among a team. So you can just, so how does it look? So once you, once you uh, click uh, on the link, it automatically create a feature branch for you mm -hmm. uh, with its own like unique number and you can mm -hmm. work. And if, if the, another user has access to the project, um, you can send the link and we can both work together. Ah, okay. And uh, yeah, also, um, 
forgot my question. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, looks like it's an uh, interesting topic. Yeah, thank you very much for investigation of the services shared with us your experience. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Adina. Thank yeah, you. and uh, I want to invite everybody to our last uh, call, uh, talk today from Tracy. Yeah, very interesting topic about uh, data uh, strategy. So yeah, please stay tuned. We'll be back in uh, 20 minutes.